Hey guys, it's Tori. So today we are going to be doing a weekly slash random vlog. Um, I just really enjoy vlogging and so that's what we're gonna do. I have a few ish fun things to do over the next week or so and then I've gotten some packages in the mail I wanted to show you guys and I have a very exciting package hopefully coming in the next few days. So, with all of that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face, and let's get into the vlog. So first things first, I chopped my bangs, like absolutely chopped them, and today I got a compliment from my coworker saying that they look very Taylor Swift vibe-ish, and that literally made my day. I had like the worst day ever at work, so being told that just made my day so much better. But I have two packages I'm going to show you guys really quick. One of them I've been literally waiting for months to get and I'm going to wear it tomorrow. But it is from the Taylor Swift store and I bought the red sweater. Um, it looks like this and then it has the Taylor Swift patch down here. It's literally so soft. I got mine in a medium so I like mine a little bit oversized and it it's so cute and it has oh, i'm obsessed with it i'm gonna wear this tomorrow and then i also got a sephora order in the mail so i got a couple of new releases and then i got a couple of things i've just been wanting to try so a new item is the rare beauty positive light silky touch highlighter this is in the shade enlighten um i've seen this all over tiktok and so of course, since it's Rare Beauty, I wanted to buy it. I got um, a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I watch this YouTuber. I think her name's Samantha Nicole. But she loves this. And so I just got the mini because it's very expensive. But I'm very excited to try it. It's supposed to be super good. And going along with that, she also loves the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So I also got a mini of that just to try it and then this i saw it i believe destiny recommended this in one of her recent vlogs um she did i think a sephora haul in one of her vlogs recently and she said that this is like her favorite stuff ever so i bought it it's the Ilia lip wrap reviving balm i don't think it's like a shade or anything but i picked that up and then I have two more things. This is a brand new release. I haven't seen like any reviews about it or anything, but I wanted it. And this is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. And I got mine in the shade 2N and hopefully this matches me. I haven't seen much about it, but it was a new release and I really like Makeup by Mario's skin products. And the last thing is something also that Samantha recommended. She's like obsessed with this stuff. This is the beauty blender bounce skin tint i got the shade light two but that's some of my recent purchases um i constantly have amazon packages being delivered and i have one very exciting one that i'm just waiting on right now so let's pray that that comes before this vlog needs to be up but that's my haul i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna go take a shower and do some laundry and then avery is gonna spend the night and then Tomorrow, her and I are going to go to Target and Barnes & Noble, so that's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, that was my haul. That was all for now. So I just took a shower, and I thought we would do my skincare together, and I'd just show you guys what I do. So I use the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc like Serum. I've literally been using this for probably like two years, and I think this is my fifth or sixth bottle. I literally go through so much of this stuff. But I just put a couple of little drops on. And this is something a little bit newer I've been doing the past few months. And it's using like something under my eyes. Um, I'm a college student and I work and I do YouTube. And so I don't sleep the best. I have really bad insomnia. So I've been trying to take better care of my under eyes. So this is the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This is just like a stick and it actually feels really good under the eyes. So I just do a couple swipes and then I just pat that in. I always do my serum first so that this can kind of sit on top of it. And I do not really put serum under my eyes because that could irritate your eye really, really bad. For moisturizer, I use the La Roche-Posay um, Double Repair Face Moisturizer. I use a decent size dollop. I just kind of put some on the end of my finger and then I just kind of 
put a little all over my face and if I get a little too much I will put it down my neck as well so then this is only something I use if I have like really bad breakouts going on and I have this really bad pimple right here so this is the um Kroger brand it's just like their acne treatment it's kind of like a knockoff for the Mario Badescu drying cream but I really don't like that stuff so I literally just put a tiny tiny bit on my finger and I just kind of rub that around and then lastly is the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum i only put this on my eyelashes i don't put this in my brows um i have pretty decent eyebrows so i just put a little bit over my lash line so that is just my skincare routine very quickly i want to show you guys one of my recent purchases because i'm very basic and i was like obsessed with them i bought a stanley she got here yesterday, but I washed it and wanted to let it dry before I started using it. I'm obsessed with the color. So cute. It will fit in my cup holder now, and I'm very excited about it. But that was all. Good morning. I feel very weird because I'm with Avery, and I don't film in front of people. But here she is, looking beautiful as ever. <laughs> we just got coffee. We went to our work and talked to our favorite people and I got a drink and then we are now going to Target, Dick's, Barnes obviously we might actually go to more than one Barnes we might book shopping hop but that is all for now also look at this sweater look at her fucking adorable to the mall and we spent too much money and we literally only went to like three stars but her and i got One and two matching three. i got matching rings from pandora because we've talked about it for literally ever so we did that and she bought a stanley so we can be stanley sisters <laughs> and they played taylor swift which put me in a great mood but now we're gonna go to ulta and then we're going to barnes which is the place to be if you did not know Okay, I am back home and I figured I would do a little haul before I put everything away and do some cleaning around my room. I need to put out laundry, just clean up my desk, you know, then I'm probably just going to read the rest of the night because I have nothing better to do. So, let's just do a little haul. Um, I got a bra from Victoria's Secret, but I don't feel comfortable showing that, so I'm not going to. And then I bought the... Brand new Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume. I wanted to go in and smell this in person before I bought it. And I thought it smelled so good. So I bought that. And then I also bought this little mini set for when I go see my boyfriend. So I have um, my cleansing balm and just a facial cleanser in general. We went to Target as you guys saw. And I actually did really good at target i'm very happy with my purchases okay so i got this super super pretty little like it's for like snacks and stuff but i thought it would look really good on my desk i just wanted a few more decor pieces to finish off my room before i do a room tour for you guys because after my fall and christmas decor has been taken down my room's a little bare in a few spots so i got this for my desk and it was literally five dollars and it is so cute and then I found the beautiful and infamous glass heart candles. I thought this would just be really pretty as a little decor item as well. So I bought this little fake plant. I love fake plants. And ever since I got um, my book cart, I'm running low on fake plants because I put some on there. So I got this one. And then I got another mini plant just for a little decor piece. It's just really cute. This was in the like dollar section. Then I bought the elf halo glow liquid filter like highlighter foundation thing this is the dupe for the charlotte tilbury one i've literally looked everywhere for this and i can never find it and i finally found it in my shade i got the lightest shade and i'm so excited about this and then the last thing from target is the target edition of the midnight's um 
album CD because this has three bonus tracks that I haven't heard before. So I bought that because they had it. The last place I have stuff from is Barnes, which is everyone's favorite place. So I got three books, which I didn't go in there like looking for anything specifically, but I found two that I just thought sounded really good. And then I bought one that I've had my eye on. So the first one is The Beautiful. This is by Renee. I'm not sure how to say her last name, but I believe this is part of a series, if I'm not mistaken. But this just sounded really, really good. It's about this girl from New Orleans. And it sounded kind of like, um, it's like a romance murder mystery type of thing. I'm not really sure, but it just sounded really good. And so I'm excited about that. And then another one I just saw and thought sounded really, really good was... The Night and Its Moon. This cover is literally stunning. I'm obsessed with it. That's what really caught my eye. And then I read the back and this is a um, fantasy romance. And like that cover is just stunning. So I'm excited about that. And then the very last book is one I've had my eye on. And I believe this was in my um, books I'm looking forward to video. I think it was two videos ago that I posted my anticipated reads for 2023. And it's Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Maas. Um, recently, Destiny read this in the second one, and she was posting about the second one all over her Instagram. And so I was like, okay, if they have it, I'll buy it. If not, then I won't buy it. They had it, and so I was like, okay, it's a sign. They had the first one, but not the second one. So I grabbed the first one, and I'm obsessed with these covers. They're literally beautiful. But that is everything. I also showed you guys in the car, but Avery and I got um this matching ring from pandora her and i have always kind of talked about getting matching rings we have a matching tattoo and now we have matching rings so that is everything i bought today i'm gonna put everything away do some cleaning you know read a book i don't know but that's all for now morning guys and happy saturday um i quickly got around because i'm gonna run to town i'm gonna get a coffee and then i'm gonna grab something from walmart because something very exciting is being delivered today and so i'm gonna grab something from walmart so i'm gonna run a few quick errands but i kind of got around a little bit um fixed my bangs as good as I possibly could get them. And I changed my clothes and put on some mascara. That's about it. But yeah, I'll show you guys the fit really quick. And then we're going to head to the store. Okay, so this is the outfit. I'm wearing my All Too Well crew neck. My black crossover flare leggings. I'm literally obsessed with these things. And then my slippers. And that's that's all for now i'm gonna take my bag obviously but yeah let's run some errands oh it is a cold outside 32 flipping degrees i don't like this kind of weather okay so the very important and exciting package has arrived and I'm like scared to open it. So I'm gonna open it down here so you don't see my address. I'm gonna cry. I bought a camera. <laughs> I've literally wanted to do this for so long. And if you guys have been here for a very long time, you know I've done YouTube for like I don't even know, like six or seven years, and I'm finally like really finding my niche with it, and I'm on the side of booktube slash lifestyle now, and I decided it was finally time to buy a camera, so I bought the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, and then I bought an adapter to plug into my phone, and then what I went to Walmart today was to get an SD card because the one I ordered won't be here yet and I wanted to be able to mess with it today so let's 
open it. I'm like absolutely terrified. I have no clue how to use this. So I'm gonna mess with it today. But I'm literally so excited. I don't know anything about cameras. Like literally nothing. I've never owned a camera in my life. So I was like scared. Oh my god. literally gonna cry i literally wanted to do social media full-time for so long and i feel like this is the first big girl step towards doing that and so i'm so excited and literally so proud of myself because this was not cheap at all and then um when i went to warrant today i was looking at ipads because i I'm hoping I can figure out how to transfer my footage to my phone to edit, but I might invest in an iPad for solely social media purposes. And I'm literally ecstatic. I cannot. Okay, so everything it came with was a battery charger, a battery, the like wristlet strap, and then obviously camera which i am literally so excited about and then i personally bought the sd card um transfer adapter sd card and then i bought a cute little case to keep it in so that it stays safe so i think i'm gonna plug it in read the instruction manual and play with it but I'm literally so happy. I've literally waited so, so long for this. Hey, I think I'm recording. I don't actually know how to do this. Guys, I can't. I have a freaking camera. I have a camera. Oh my God. This is literally insane. It's going to be hard not to look up at the screen and to like look actually at the lens. I'm not going to be used to this. This is going to take some getting used to. But I, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say. Oh my god. I bought a camera. I just finished A Court of Mist and Fury. And if you haven't read the first Akatar book or this one yet, we need to just click out right now there's gonna be spoilers really fast i have no words this book is a five star this series so far five star one thousand percent it took me a very long time to get into it um the first book i was done with in like three days this one took me like two weeks to read but the past two days i spent so much time reading like literally i think i read for like seven hours today like this i devoted myself to this book today and i finished it and i i'm like ready to start the next one and i know that i need to like read something else in between so that i don't get bored or tired but oh my god just oh my god like i i don't even know what to say so basically it's a very slow story at the beginning, but here's where my spoilers are going to come in. Um, the ending? What the fuck? Feyre is now back in the spring court with Tamlin, even though she is mated to Riseland. And Lucian is Elaine's mate, apparently. And I'm just like, what is happening? Like, what is happening? and she's gonna be their spy and war is coming that's what the next one is like a war but like i just have no words i don't even know this was amazing and i'm obsessed with it and i just had to say that so yeah i think i'm going to end this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um please let me know if you've read Akatar and what you think of it. Also, go follow my Goodreads. Um, the link is down below. 
it's just something to help you guys see what books I'm reading, how far into them I am, my ratings of books, you know, all the fun stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for all your support. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have this amazing new camera that I'm literally obsessed with. And I cannot wait to create a bunch of content. Please bear with me as I'm learning how to use it. But I think I already know what I want my next video to be. So I'm very excited about that. But I love you all so much. Have an amazing day. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.